under tight security, leaders of the world's 15 million Ismaili Muslims gathered for the wedding of one of the world's wealthiest men, their spiritual guide, Prince Karim Aga Khan. The bride, already a princess by a previous marriage to a German nobleman, is Gabrielle Zulaningen, who converted to Islam to marry her new prince. In a brief ceremony, the Aga Khan, who the faithful believe is a direct descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, accepted the blessings of the Grand Mufti of Paris on his second marriage. And of his family and followers, who were happy that four years after the prince's first marriage ended in a costly divorce, he had once again found a begum, as the Ismailis refer to their imam's wife. Everyone seemed to be very, very happy. Uh, their biggest concern is the happiness of the imam, and this is something which makes him happy, and we will all be extremely pleased with this. It is not just the wedding gifts that symbolize the religious community's support of their spiritual leader. His mailies turn over to him generous amounts of time and money. Because of the contributions of his followers, the Aga Khan is said to control one of the world's great fortunes, which the current prince has used to fund charitable organizations such as schools and hospitals around the world. Unlike his father, who was known as a high-living playboy, the Aga Khan has concentrated on recycling his religion's wealth, especially in areas of the underdeveloped world, a mission in which some believe his new wife, who is a consultant for UNESCO, will actively participate. And although the couple's wedding was a low-key family affair, plans are already being made for more lavish nuptial celebrations in October. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Gouvieux, France.